Welcome to Reading Practice. Describe a book you read that you found useful. I read The Power of a Habit by Charles Duhigg, and I found it incredibly useful. The book delves into the science behind habits and how they can be transformed, offering valuable insights that can be applied to personal and professional life. One key takeaway from the book was the concept of Keystone's habits, which are small changes that can lead to significant transformations. Learning about the impact of habits on productivity, happiness, and success has influenced the way I approach my daily routines. Moreover, the power of habit emphasizes the significance of belief in the process of habit change. The stories of individuals and organizations undergoing positive transformations by focusing on habits reinforced the idea that change is possible for everyone. The book not only provides a deep understanding of the psychological mechanisms behind habits, but also supplies readers with tools to identify and modify their own habits. It has been a practical guide in helping me make positive changes in my life. Describe a book that you have read many times. One book that I've read many times and continue to enjoy is To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. It's a classic novel that explores themes of racial injustice, moral growth, and compassion in the American South during the 1930s. The story is narrated by a young girl, and it follows her father, a lawyer defending a black man wrongly accused. The narrative not only addresses serious societal issues, but also portrays the innocence and curiosity of childhood. What draws me to this book is the compelling storytelling and the vivid characters. The novel challenges readers to reflect on their own beliefs and prejudices, making it a thought-provoking and timeless read. Describe an interesting place in your country. One fascinating place in my country, Brazil, is the iconic Amazon rainforest. The Amazon rainforest is not only the largest rainforest on Earth, but also one of the most diverse and captivating ecosystems. One of the most remarkable aspects of the Amazon rainforest is its biodiversity. The forest is home to an incredible array of plant and animal species, many of which cannot be found anywhere else on the planet. The Amazon River, which flows through the heart of the rainforest, is the second longest river in the world. Boat trips along the Amazon River provide an opportunity to encounter indigenous communities that have thrived in harmony with the forest for generations, showcasing unique cultures and traditions. Describe a difficult task that you completed at work or school that you felt proud of. One challenging task that stands out in my memory is a project I undertook during my time in school. It was a research project that required a deep dive into a complex subject, and it tested both my analytical and presentation skills. The task involved researching and preparing a comprehensive report on a historical event that has significant implications on the modern world. I chose the Industrial Revolution, a period of immense societal and economic change. 
Once the research phase was complete, the next challenge was organizing the vast amount of information into a coherent and engaging presentation. I had to carefully structure the content, ensuring a logical flow of ideas and maintaining clarity for the audience. Despite the challenges, I kept going and successfully completed the project. Daily Routine Could you describe your daily routine? Sure! I wake up at 6 a.m., get ready for work, have breakfast, and leave for the office. I usually work from 9 to 5, and then come back home, have dinner, and relax in the evening. Travel and vacations Have you been on a memorable vacation? Where did you go? And what did you do? Yes, I went to Bali last summer. I enjoyed the beautiful beaches, tried the local cuisine, and went surfing for the first time. Work and employment What do you do for a living? Can you describe your job? I work as a nurse in a local hospital. My job involves taking care of patients, administering medications, and ensuring their comfort. Hobbies and leisure activities What do you like to do in your free time? for fun and relaxation. I love painting in my free time. It's a creative outlet, and I enjoy expressing myself through art. Education and learning. What do you think are the advantages of online learning? Online learning offers flexibility and convenience. It allows people to study from anywhere and at their own pace, which can be especially helpful for working adults. Transportation How do most people commute to work in your city? In my city, most people use cars or public transportation like buses and trains to commute to work. It can get quite crowded during rush hours. Technology and society. How has technology changed the way we communicate? Technology has revolutionized communication. We now use smartphones and social media to connect with friends and family instantly. It's made communication faster and more convenient.